Hey guys, welcome to another episode. In this one, we are gonna talk about the playoff sets. Are the challenges worth it? Should you hold the moments now? Should you collect the set now? Should you collect the set later? When's gonna be the drops? We're gonna speculate some of that and a whole lot more. Let's get straight into it. Oi, Steve. Yeah? What is that? That's the uh, video I made with all the other creators on Top Shot. It's on the home page of Top Shot. Yeah, I know. How did you get it there? Someone from Top Shot liked it, I guess. What am I meant to say to that? I'm your evil alter ego. I mean, you could be a team player. All right. Do you want to do it like Kawhi Leonard? Yeah, I'm going to go find a corporate box. <laughs> okay, welcome to another video. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened, but for some reason, my tweet is on the Top Shot homepage. Ridiculous. Anyway, moving on, let's get into some valuable stuff, less about me. I did complete the Devon Booker Challenge and I got serial number 772. Not the number one, but hey, it was fun to complete. It definitely wasn't a financial decision, but we'll get more into that in a little bit. I was chatting to someone in Twitter who got the number two Devon Booker, so kudos to him, you know who you are. And it got me thinking what I would do. In fact, I already knew what I would do if I got a really low serial number. I would have sold it and bought the whole playoff set. Because in the last office hours, well, not just because, but in the last office hours, Jacob did say that there'll be a significant uh, reward, collector score, something happening if you complete this set. You know, if you've been watching this channel, I'm really big on the playoff packs. And a lot of the base set moments to me are kind of like, meh, okay, they're cool. Uh, and if you're collecting a team set to complete that for collector score, that's cool as well. But the playoff set, that tells a story of what is going to be remembered in Top Shot specifically from that year all the cool moments from the playoffs yeah we'll, we'll have the the best plays of the year in top shot collect them too but i don't want the whole base set but the whole playoff set i mean that's an idea and it's an attractive one to me so i'm thinking about aggressively tracking down this set um but also not in a rush because in the off season that set is going to go down and we're going to go through some of the prices and some of the price drops in this video as well the booker reward came out and there was one person that got two of them and top shot updates on twitter which is a bit more niche and specific to issues and site updates than nba top shot itself which is more about marketing and promotions they came out with this post our systems verify each reward as it is minted and in this case our system incorrectly identified that the reward distribution failed so the automated system initiated a replacement mint for that person and was distributed to them as a result of this a single collector ended up with two moments and the internal moment count was off by one so maybe there was someone who actually didn't get one originally anyway this is the first time this has ever happened. They worked on a fix for a long-term fix. And then the, the Jokic mints took a while to come out. I say a while, a couple of hours. It used to take a lot longer for these things to come out. Um, and then Jokic came out later. And we'll get through the prices in a minute. Here is the winners and losers of today. And specifically, you know that they've been doing showcase quest challenges day to day and this one came out and what you had to do was post the five top scorers from the game between the bucks and the hawks that produced a playoff bump essentially so bogdanovich williams um drew holiday kevin herder got a bump this is bogdanovich's forty thousand cc it went from three dollars to nine dollars today and Kevin Herter, I had Kevin Herter, he went from $3 to $8 today. I even saw him at $9. I don't think he quite broke that ceiling. So, I mean, this was just a mini playoff pump. I didn't go through with it. I actually purchased Herter, I don't know, a few days ago for three bucks. Um, so I sold him today because I was pursuing other playoff moments that got dumped. More on that later. So the showcase challenge produced a bit of a bump and a bit of activity in the marketplace and some of the hawks spiked. I mean, hopefully Giannis is okay. I don't think so. I think he's done for the season because I've seen this injury a few times. I hate to say it. I really don't want to edit that in now, but I hate to say it. I'm not sure we'll see Giannis again. You know, hashtag not medical advice, but I mean, that happened, didn't it? So we talked about release three in the last video and it specifies that we're getting it in early July. We are pretty much in July, depending on where or what side of the world you're on. 
Now, I don't, that doesn't mean we're getting this playoff pack this week, but I would expect it by next week, and there's going to be another 166 packs, which means more distribution for us to chew into, which again means a price drop because the undercutters will come for all these playoff moments. If we cross reference that with the NBA schedule, the conference finals at worst is going to finish on the 6th of July. We know that Top Shot likes to drop every, you know, Monday or Thursday or something like that. So we could get a pack drop pretty quickly after the conference finals. So possibly we could be getting a playoff pack release three next week after these conference finals. Now, if the East does finish next Tuesday, that's a pretty tight turnaround to reach next Thursday. But hey, Top Shot have been getting better and better, so I wouldn't be surprised. If it doesn't go into seven games, they've obviously got a lot more time, and I'd have no trouble with saying that they would be able to make moments from Sunday available on Thursday. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but they seem to be getting quicker and quicker with these things. So keep an eye out for an announcement around release three and whenever it's happening. Maybe it's gonna be announced during the next playoff show, which they hold every Thursday night. So who knows, let's see what happens. Now, the ch playoff challenges. As mentioned, I did Booker, and he cost around $214 from scratch to complete, and currently all those moments are sitting at around $100. Now, Booker came out on the marketplace, and he was $75. Now he's sitting at $70 even. So if we go back over here, 215 to complete down to 100, that's a net loss of $30. Having said that, if you had a head start and you maybe had a couple of packs and you got these, or you got these moments for cheap, this was minted to 2,667. So it's pretty limited edition. And that's why I did the challenge because I, th I think the Suns are going to the finals. They're still the best chance over the Clippers. Um, having said that, Clippers are ruining the party by playing well. I decided to do the challenge just to ride them into the finals, essentially. And I think that would give these moments, which have received a dump, extra utility into a finals challenge moving forward. So I don't think these moments are done. So I'm holding all the Suns moments. The other thing I'm doing is, it just so happens I had like three Clippers moments. So I picked up the other three Clippers moments that are on the marketplace. So when that Kawhi Leonard challenge comes out, I'm ready to go. The Nikola Jokic challenge, he cost a lot less, around about $135. The mint count's almost identical, 2700 And they dropped all the way down to $42 at the moment. So basically 100 bucks off. And Jokic currently sitting at $44. So it was a cheap challenge, but it's a net loss of $50, $60. Now, I want to go back to playoff challenge number one, Trey Young. This was really unknown. Trey Young is easily the, the most expensive playoff set moment available right now. And I think that's just because the moment matters. It's a really cool moment. It's the shushing of the, the Madison Square Garden. He cost around 300 and something bucks, uh, at worst 312. And the moment's dumped all the way down to about $96. Trey is sitting on the marketplace at the moment for $164. So that in combined with the $80 doesn't make up for the price. So basically the story I'm trying to tell here is there is a price drop on all of these challenges. Now this used to be absolutely prominent with Cool Cats and less so with some of the other challenges we've seen recently, but it seems to be back. And I tell you that to make an informed decision. I went after the challenge because they're very limited edition and I think there's gonna be another utility moving forward after release three and four for the conference finals challenges and finals challenges, whatever they look like. There is two new playoff challenges which have just dropped and they tell a story in their own right. So there's playoff challenge number three for Middleton and number four for Kyrie Irving, which is sort of a behind the back pass for Kevin Durant. So Middleton, 1300 people have completed it. You need five moments to complete this challenge and not six. And currently you can do it for $142. But now with Giannis out, I mean, I think less people are going to be enticed to go for the Bucks. I mean, a lot of people will react and say the Bucks are finished. But if you were doing what I was thinking of doing with the Suns, of riding them to the NBA Finals and having extra utility for the next two rounds of challenges, then, you know, that's very much in doubt at this point. 
What will Middleton be worth? Well, it, Booker's worth 70 right now. It costs 142. You take away a drop. I mean, you are going to look at a negative EV if you're doing it for financial reasons. If you're doing it for fun reasons, you might get really lucky in the cereal. Be able to sell that for Dapper or keep it for collectors for collection reasons. Now, the Kyrie Irving challenge. Now, obviously, they've been knocked out. 1,200 people have completed it. The bottleneck is the Kevin Durant game tying shot, foot on the line three pointer against the Bucks, which almost knocked them out. And you can see in the last 24 hours, that moment is up 18% since the challenge went live on the website. And the interesting one about this, again, you need five moments, but because they didn't have five Nets moments in the set, you've got to get Kemba Walker in this challenge to complete it, which makes sense. It's from the same series and one was picked. So moving forward into the next few challenges, when we're looking at Gobert, Embiid, Kawhi, and Collins, Collins dunk over Embiid is going to be epic. The Kawhi dunk over O'Neal, I believe, is also going to be pretty cool. I've mentioned I've already got the moments for that ready to go because basically I had some of those in packs already. So do your research. When these moments become live on the marketplace as a challenge, that doesn't mean they go double in value. So if you're holding for that reason, like, you know, that might not be the play. It might be, but it might not be the play. Not all of them have gotten a bump. And the reason for that is look at what happened to the MGLE challenge Kyrie Irving that dropped. It started at $4,490. And then as soon as the challenge went live on the marketplace, undercut city. Now, all those moments collectively to complete that challenge is two and a half thousand dollars. Go figure. Traditionally, it used to be the playoff had utility, it would go up in value. The opposite happened at the MGLE level. So maybe a lot of people were holding from the hollow icon or the MGLE packs that they received and then they went and they waited for this moment and then they just went dump city on the marketplace. It's good if you're doing the challenge late because you're getting the best price. If you did it early in anticipation, you kind of got burned for being a collector in that sense. A two grand difference, I mean, that's massive. So these graphs, there's a few out there, you can get them on evaluate.market or otmnft.com. They just give you a visual representation of what the marketplace is doing with these sets. And speaking of sets, I mentioned I'm really interested in collecting this set moving forward. This set used to be worth more used to be worth more than two grand and it's already down to 1800 and that's with a bit more distribution. Currently there's uh, 84 moments in the set at the moment, but we will be getting more as we know based on this blog from before. There's gonna be 112 moments, including all the rewards moments. And on top of that, we're gonna have the conference final rares and then there were four set and the NBA finals sets. So make informed decisions when you're chasing these challenges. They are pretty LE and as opposed to being 12 or 11 and a half thousand, you can get a two and a half thousand LE by completing the challenge. And if you time it right, it might financially be worth it as well. So keep an eye out for the future challenges. If you've got them in the pack, you might utilize them. If you're not going for the challenge, you might be worth selling them. And if you want to collect the set in the off season when they don't have utility and they're not shiny and new, like some of the other moments, like say the Portland Trailblazers, some of those playoff moments are going for like $7 already. So I think we got a lot of clues on what these future four challenges are going to look like. And basically they're gonna have five moments in them. And if there's not five moments from that team, they're gonna drop one in from the other team in a series that they played with. So fingers crossed we are getting release three any minute now, release four sometime thereafter, and the rare, and then there were four pack probably in a couple of weeks. So anyway, that's it from me. If you've got future ideas for videos or questions that you want answered, please let me know in the comments. And if you got any value out of this video, please consider liking and or subscribing. It's good to be back and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. See ya.